Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. In today's material, we'll spend just a few minutes talking about your mouth and your breath. Yeah, some of these topics can be a little bit off the wall, but it'll all make sense in due time. Just, be, just stay with me and be patient. Is your cat obsessed with your mouth? When your cat is resting on your lap, does your pet often lean into your face and your mouth, smelling and perhaps looking around? Well, we'll talk all about it today, why cats engage in this behavior, and what types of information they are attempting to gather from this behavior. Before we do some exploring of our very own, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. Cats sniff your breath because it's one of the most unique smells your body produces. Most cats take comfort in their owner's smell, especially if they're bonded with them and use it to distinguish who they are. Cats are also drawn to the warmth and moisture that human breath produces. Hungry cats will sniff your breath to seek out food, particularly if you've just eaten meat and fish. Other times, cats are simply being curious. So, let's break it all down. Cats smell your mouth as a means to identify you. They're drawn to the warmth. They're also curious to see if you've eaten, as this could point to food for them. And finally, cats will smell your mouth and explore for sheer curiosity. It's critical to remember that scent and smell is everything to a cat, so I guess it should come as no surprise that they would use your mouth and your breath as a way to gain a lot of important information. Before we take a look at today's first video subsection, a quick shout out to each and every one of you, the very best audience on the feline wing of the internet. Thank you all for your love and for your support. As we always say, it is 100% true. None of this would be possible without you. If you enjoyed today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. It is our mission to serve the feline community and do it with a kind heart and a smile. Thanks for taking some time out of your day to join us, and we do hope to see you again in future content. Now, your cat and your mouth. Is Garfield checking you for cavities? What's going on here? Let's take a closer look. As for the why aspects, well, we mentioned a few things in our introduction, but it's important to explore these core reasons yet again, as it can help you better to understand just what's going on and why your cat engages in what we would probably find to be some rather odd behavior. Let's first start off with primary smelling senses. This is all about information, info that your cat can store for future use. Are you a friend or a foe? In this area, meaning your body, is it safe? Your cat's sense of smell is roughly 15 times greater than your own. While cats can figure things out with their eyes, so much of the core information they acquire is through the nose. The smelling of your mouth and your breath is for their understanding and protection. Next up, gauging their owner's smell. Once a baseline has been established in terms of establishing friend or foe, your cat will attempt to gauge your personal smell. Where you've been and what you've been up to. Is the smell they've always known still the same? It's almost like your cat is doing a health and wellness check on you. Next up, we have warmth and moisture. Cats love a warm and cozy environment, even if that environment is your mouth. It's all about that comfort. And you are the grand supplier. By smelling your mouth, your cat can find that comfort. You are the power source. I guess in this example, you're the heater. And your cat will most always want to rest and relax on the warmth that you provide. What about Hunger. Is this another reason for that mouth inspection? You bet. Hunger indeed. Your cat wants to know if you've eaten. And if you have, well, is there any left? If your pet can detect food, they'll likely stay close to you with the hopes that some food will be for them in some very short order. Is it just around the corner? Well, I'm going to hang around here and find out. And finally, we last we have curiosity. This occurs uh, when the exploration of your face and your mouth means really nothing at all, at least nothing specific. Your cat is exploring simply because they can. They're just checking things out. It's all about instinct. Cats on some level, they must always have that curiosity meter up on 10 at the, all times as a means to keep them safe, making sure that 
things are one way or the other, good or bad, can allow a feline to know its next move and what move to make. This is very important. In respect to the obsession aspect, if if that's even the right <laughs> if that's even the right word to use, the obsession aspect. Well, those food smells are certainly one reason, but there are certainly other things going on that your mouth and breath uh, can offer up to your cat. Let's start with grooming behavior. Has your cat ever licked your face or rubbed against your mouth? While it's not exactly a walk in the park to be on the receiving end of this display, this is overall a positive sign. This is your cat's way of letting you know uh, they're looking out for you. They're almost treating you like another cat, watching your face. What about uh, some sort of uh, imitation aspect? While it's uncertain how much cats truly know about imitation, the act of exploring your mouth could, in some ways, be the byproduct of their own observation. You kiss your spouse, you kiss your young children. If your cat has seen this enough, they could attempt some level of mimicking. Next up, we have positive memory associations, similar to those primary smelling senses that we mentioned a bit earlier. If your cat is obsessed with your mouth, it could be due to positive associations. I mean, why does anyone do anything more than once? A lot of it has to do with positive associations. Drink a specific soda today? Why? Well, it could be because you had it last week and it was good. Makes sense, right? This is very much the same. Your cat will continue to explore your mouth and your face in general due to past positives. And finally, this obsession takes us to scent marking. If you've been taking the journey with us here at Senior Cat Wellness for almost any amount of time, you likely know that we love to talk about scent and scent marking. The last point of obsession is indeed scent marking. If your cat not only smells your face and mouth, but rubs against these same areas, then hey, you've been marked. This is your way of your cat's, uh, your cat's way of claiming you. This is often done if you have other cats or other animals in your home. And on that note, that will wrap things up for the video side of life. However, if you'd like more information concerning the topic of your cat and your mouth and just what it all means, please be sure to head on over to SeniorCatWellness.com at the conclusion of today's presentation. There you will find a high-quality article dedicated to everything we've talked about here today and so much more. And you can find our written content by clicking the initial link in the description box below. And once again, if you enjoyed what we brought to the table here today and would like to see and hear more, please like and share this video and subscribe to the SeniorCowWellness.com official YouTube channel. It would be greatly appreciated. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.